Welcome back. In this video, we'd like to think about percentage difference and um, how that relates to um, your data being reliable. Percentage difference basically is the difference between your true value and your measured value divided by your true value. So, the difference between true value and measured value divided by your true value. As an example, um, let's consider a value for Hubble's constant. Um, let's say Hubble's constant equals 71 Um, so that's the value that is stated in a question. And you are asked to calculate a value for Hubble's constant. And your calculated value uh, comes out to be 64 uh, kilometers per second per megaparsec. Um, how you would calculate the percentage difference is to take the difference between the two. So 71 minus 64 and divided by your true value, or the value that you've been given, or the constant that you've been given, which is 71, and your percentage difference, in this case, is therefore 10%. Now, in lots of questions, you are asked whether the um, value that you've calculated um, is actually a reliable um, data point. The key thing to remember there is that when you're asked that question, you have to compare your percentage difference with your percentage uncertainty. If your percentage difference is greater than your percentage uncertainty, then the um, data is considered to be not reliable. If your percentage difference is less than your percentage uncertainty, then your data is considered reliable. Um, so that question normally follows um, after you've uh, worked out percentage difference. Uh, there is cases where sometimes they, you are not provided with a true value or with a constant, um, and you're asked to work out um, the percentage difference between two um, measurements that you've made. Let's say you've got a measurement of 1.93, another measurement of 2.01, and both of these you have calculated. So you've not been provided with the true value. In that case, to work out the percentage difference, you would take your 2.01, you subtract your 1.93, and you then divide it, so your denominator here will be the mean of these two which in this case is 1.97. So here the percentage difference would be 4.1%.